this. Okay, let's go. Push it out, come on. Easy, do it. Go, up, up, up. Over, come on. Go big dog, come on. Up, nice. Go fire it out, let's go. Up, faster, come on. Fire, come on, up. Let's go. Let's go, push it. Up and over, back. Oh, burn out, burn out. Let's go. Walk it over, walk it over. Good. Nice. Take off. Nice, very ancient. Walk it over, come on. Down. Saturday night. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. It's just one push up this oh, nice. nice work. Press. Go, fire it out. Go. Up. Get that keg up. Come on. Down. Come on. Okay. Oh, okay. That's mud. Thanks, Mark. Good. Push, push. Keep going. It's just awesome that you didn't quit there. Let's go. Come on. Good. Two more, two more, two more, two more. Dude, did you see my underwear? I did. Those are my underwear. Come on. Those are my favorite underwear. Two uh, more. Uh, I know they're all sweaty. Does anyone else's brother steal their underwear? <laughs> does, like, does that happen? Is this normal? I don't, I don't have a brother. Yeah, I forgot even. Like what you were doing a couple what times. I was, uh, what I was doing a couple times. Um, overall, it targeted. I got sweat running in my eyes. It's cool. Where, um, targeted the whole body. Um, toughest exercise, I would definitely have to say, is is the was the push up with the oogie ball. All in all, um, I'm happy with my performance, and uh, it was nice having having a motivator as well. So, did uh, uh, Kyla did a great job uh, pushing me through when I was getting tired. So, thanks. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork. That was wicked. That was that looked hard. That was inspiring.
All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a little one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so for the first exercise, uh, it's called the keg press. So what you're gonna do is put the bag on your shoulder. You're gonna do a backward lunge, just like this. And then you're gonna come back up. And then you're gonna press the bag. One second, get it. Press the bag up over your head and onto the other shoulder. On the second and third round, when I was really tired out, um, all I did was I gave myself a little momentum through my legs, so I just did a, a bounce up and a press up and over so I could get the, uh, the bag onto my other shoulder. Beginner modification, use a lighter bag or just use body weight for the backward lunge. So that's, those are two modifications that you can do if you're, at, uh, if you're at the beginning stages. So I'm gonna go on to exercise two. So second exercise that I used with uh, the pangugi. Um, basically what you're going to want to do is uh, get in the push-up position, have your core on strong, and you really got to push up, um, use a lot, of, uh, a lot of force, so you want to be able to change sides. It's actually really tough, um, and you need, you need to have a strong upper body to actually make the change over. If and when you get tired, um, Another move you can do is not try to so much hop over like I did at the beginning, but just walk it over. Walk over, which is also tough because you gotta have good balance. And then a push up, and then a walk over like this. Okay, so when you're when you can't do that anymore, can you go so, to the knees? Another modification: lose the ball and just do walk overs just like this. And then the fourth modification, um, if you want to do it, you can do knees. So down, up, walk over, knees, down, up, walk over, and so on. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm thinking here. <laughs> That's scary. Um, so yeah, uh, those are the modifications that you can do for that exercise. So we'll go on to exercise three, which is the ninja jump tucks, which everyone's afraid of. Um, and it's not that bad. So I did this with the, uh, with the sandbag. So you make, make sure you have your two straps uh, facing up. You're gonna get into the ninja jump tuck position, just like so. You're gonna come up into the ninja, ninja stance just like this. You're gonna have your hands on the bag. Down. Press up. Put the bag back down. And then you're gonna do the knees to hands. Oh, we'll do that again. <laughs> knees to hands. And then come back down. And then you're gonna do it all over again. A real good tip, I think, uh, when doing these, just try to slide your feet right underneath you as quick as you can. Don't have, uh, don't have your momentum going everywhere. Just knees, try to just put them right underneath your butt so your, knee, your feet don't have that far to travel. That's how, that's how I got a, a, the hang of it. So just, just like that. Okay, so the fourth exercise. Beginners, beginners. Oh, beginners. So uh, beginners can either put a foot down beside them, keep one foot up, one foot up. Yeah, and Use, use, use that as a, as a lever, yep. And then the bag. And then the bag. Or you guys can put one hand on the ground. You guys can put your hands on the ground and help yourselves up. Just like this. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Fingertips. <laughs> okay. Also, uh, for beginners, use a wetter sandbag, obviously, as well, uh, for the press. Now the fourth one, with the dip station, fourth exercise, a burpee knee up, half would be knee up, um, back into the push up, a push up, firing the legs right up underneath you, try to get your knees to your chest, walk right up, holding the, uh, the dip station, knees up, back down, and then we just do it all over again. Faster. Push up, here, here, and here. Just like so, with a smile on your face. Okay, so that's the routine. I'll post my scores 
And uh, like I was saying, I, I was pretty impressed uh, with how I did, and uh, I'll just try to improve on that next time. All right, thanks. I'm glad you were impressed. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> well, somebody's gotta be, right? All my haters out there! <laughs> you don't have any haters. <laughs>